Speaking of the government... Just like New Guiana and Guadalupe, Martinique is one of France's overseas departments. Citizens have the full political and legal rights of citizens of France, as they are considered such. The island itself is broken up into four main arrondissements, or administrative divisions. The four arrondissements are called Fort de France, La Trinité, La Marine, and Saint-Pierre. They preside over their own quarters of the island, respectively. Historically speaking, Martinique has relied primarily on agricultural exports, traditionally sugar and the rum it is used to make, though in more modern times they have begun to rely more heavily on revenue stemming from tourism. In 2000, the island played host to over 500,000 money-spending tourists. Businesses that cater directly to tourists make up 16% of the total businesses on the island. We'll begin, as documentaries of this type often do, with ancient history. Martinique was occupied first by the Arawaks and then that by the Caribs. Now, a little bit into the history of Martinique, the Caribs pretty much almost entirely got rid of the Arawaks with violent methods that I don't want to get too much into because there's children in this class. So we'll skip ahead a bit. But remember this, the Caribs will be seen again as we go further into Martinique history. Now in 1635, the French governor of St. Kitts, who had previously been kicked off the island, St. Kitts that is, landed in Martinique and declared it France's property. A few years later when he died, his nephew gained control and became governor. They tried to overthrow the French government that was controlling Martinique and they were pushed to the eastern part of the island where they stayed for around 22 years until in 1658 they tried again to overthrow the government and they, the French decided to take much more violent measures, exterminating many, many of the Carib. The rest were simply deported to Dominica and separate islands where they stay to this day. Several times during the Seven Years' War and later in the Napoleonic Wars, uh, Martinique was occupied by Britain. But later, when the Napoleonic Wars ended, Britain signed over Martinique to France and it has remained in France's custody to this day. In 1902, the mountain-slash-volcano Mont Pelet erupted and wiping out the entire city of Saint-Pierre, which was around 30,000 people, and based on the accounts that we have, only three people survived the eruption. <laughs> did, you, did you see Did you see the lava? Is, is it still back there? Oh, I think we're, we're the only ones. Keep going, keep going. Not a lot has come of Martinique lately in the news spectrum, not since 2009 when after the French Caribbean strikes there were some deep ethnic and class tensions revealed. What do you want to do today in Martinique? Well, I figured after we watch a bit from Earth episode we could go on our Hello Blue tour and then, you know, walk to Ways to Marine. I've heard they've got really good rum flambe shrimp. We should definitely try yeah, that. Yeah, you'd be right. <laughs> uh, if... I would be, you're right. Yeah, you are right. What about after that? Uh, well, I mean, I recommend to you the octopus fricassee. Fricassee. The octopus fricassee. Oh, yeah. I'm a vegetarian, Jeff. I can't, I can't have octopus. I mean, octopus is fish. So, uh... After that, you want to go to the Centre Martinique d'Action Culturelle. Mm -hmm. Do they have documentaries there? Uh, they do. They're actually quite interesting. Do they have that new one on Scientology? That new documentary? Uh, the one on HBO? Yeah, but do they have it there? Uh, they might, but not in the language that you want to. <laughs> That's true. Uh, you know, after, uh, 
you know, visit here, you know, you should come back in August so, you know, you could go see the Martinique Guitar Festival and listen to some killer jams. Some jams. You know, I do love me some jams. Oh yeah, I like Almost. jelly though. Whoa! Dropped your cookie. Is there anywhere in Martinique we can go to, uh, to clean that up? Anywhere nearby? Uh, well, at the Jazz Festival you might be able to groove those crumbs off. But, uh, you know, uh, next week, though, if you could stay there long enough, uh, we're going to the St. Pierre Festival. It's basically a celebration of life, a tribute to St. Pierre, patron saint. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>